Jen's our class with Boys and Girls Club. Jen's our class. Join me this week with Jen's our class. This week's Boys and Girls Club art activity from home is coffee filter shamrocks. So what do you need? You need, of course, coffee filters, markers, and make sure they're washable. That's very important. Paper, a pen, scissors, a cup of water, and a spoon or a dropper. A blow dryer is optional if you don't want to wait for them to dry on their own. You can go ahead and speed up the process with a blow dryer if you have one. So let's get started. So we're going to go ahead and make a template for the shamrocks. So you're going to take your paper, you're going to draw a big shamrock, and then you're going to cut it out, and you're going to end up with your template. So you're going to take a coffee filter and you're going to put your template right over top of your coffee filter. Then you're going to take your pen and you're going to trace around that and cut that out. So you're going to end up with a coffee filter that looks like the shape of a share rock. Next, you take your markers and you're going to use your markers to color your shamrock. So I'll just show you a couple different designs that I did. I love rainbows. So of course I did a rainbow shamrock and you're going to want to really get in there with the marker and make sure that you have plenty of dye on the filter. And if you want, you can leave a little bit of white space as well. That's optional. And then the other design I did, was I used a dark green to outline and I used some yellow and I colored in with some green as well. After that, in order not to make a huge mess, I took a baking pan. I put the paper down on top of that. And then I took one at a time the shamrocks that I had just done the marker with. And then my cup of water and my spoon. And I just did little drips of water. Again, this is going to be on your table like this. Now you want to do just small amounts of water because if you do too much water, it's going to all run together. The colors are going to get muddy or they're just going to wash away completely. So just small, tiny drops all over. And then I took my next one and I did the same thing, just small, tiny drops of water. And what's going to happen is it's going to kind of start to spread and bleed together. And then you're going to have, after it dries, set them aside to dry, you're going to have this beautiful effect. And so there you go. There are your coffee filter shamrocks. And if you look at the paper underneath, you might have a really fun design as well. So enjoy.